Welcome back to To Read or Not To Read. Today I have got four fresh fall picks for your Halloween season. First up is A Catered Costume Party by Isis Crawford. Uh, this is part of a series and that series is called Mystery with Recipes series. Uh, this is stories about Bernie and Libby Simmons and they agree to cater a costume party for a man whose wife has disappeared. Now when that man turns up dead during the party, the sisters take on the task to unmask the killer. And fun thing, there is actually recipes in the back of this book that are themed with the content of this book, so don't miss that. Next up is Wicked Witch Murder. This is the 16th book in the Lucy Stone Mystery Series by Leslie Meyer. In this book, Lucy is going to be very busy trying to plan a giant Halloween party for her town, dealing with her drought-ravaged garden, tending to her four kids, and she's going to come across the last thing she needs, which is a dead body. And if you like Leslie Meyer's Wicked Witch Murder, don't pass up Candy Corn Murder, which is a, a, also in the same series. It comes a few books after Wicked Witch Murder. And in this one, uh, the manner in which in which the murder is discovered is through a pumpkin catapulting contest that goes horribly awry. Now, I think no fall reading list would be complete without a mention of something that's pumpkin spice. And here I have Death by Pumpkin Spice by Alex Erickson. This is the third entry in the Bookstore Cafe mystery series. In this, uh, in this story, the cafe owner, Chrissy Hancock, would rather be serving pumpkin themed treats to the guests at a very ritzy costume party than actually attending the party. But when a murder puts the entire party on lockdown, she's going to have to join forces with an officer to investigate the crime. She just has to avoid old flames, awkward marriage proposals, and also a murderer. So, and with that, I hope we've added some new titles to your fall reading list. Until we see you again, happy reading, happy Halloween, and look forward to seeing you on the next edition of To Read or Not To Read.